Coming up, Mass Effect 3 executive producer Casey Hudson joins us to answer your questions next on Bioware Pulse. You're locked in to Bioware Pulse. I'm Community Manager Jessica Marison. For those of you excited about Mass Effect 3 multiplayer, you're in luck. Let's fire up the headlines. Earlier this week, BioWare announced both a pre-release single player and a multiplayer demo coming out in January of 2012. The studio has also revealed there will be several opportunities for fans to get early access to the multiplayer portion of the demo. Players can join three friends online and defend multiple fronts in the war against the Reapers. And you can reserve your spot right now. Activate the online pass and new copies of Battlefield 3 to instantly enroll into the Mass Effect 3 Early Access program. To be the first on the front lines in the War for Earth, check out Battlefield 3 in stores now. You'll even get N7 dog tags to show your pride in Battlefield 3 multiplayer. Keep your eyes on MassEffect.com over the next few months for more opportunities to get early access to the demo. Want even more Mass Effect? Earlier this week, we asked that you submit your Twitter questions. Let's go to Casey Hudson and Christine Steimer to get some answers. It's time for Insider. Thanks, Jessica. What's up, everybody? I'm Christine Steimer here with Casey Hudson, executive producer of Mass Effect 3. We're here to grill him a little bit with questions from the community. To start off, we're going to start with Fiery Phoenix 7. He wants to know how is the story structured in Mass Effect 3? Uh, well, it's a war story, so it's a little different from the story structure in Mass Effect 2, which was kind of a collection story. You're building a dirty dozen, and maybe it's a little bit more similar to the structure of Mass Effect 1, where it really is a little bit of a discovery story, a little bit of a chase story, a little bit of exploration. In Mass Effect 3, though, it's all in the context of a larger galactic war. And Helenovision wants to know, can you clarify what you meant when you said that there will be no permanent squad members in Mass Effect 3? People want to know, okay, Show me my roster of permanent squad members, show me my roster of love interests. But of course, that is so much a part of telling the story. That's why we don't want to say, yep, here's all the characters that are permanent squad members. Because first of all, it doesn't make sense in a war story. It's not true to the game because some characters you might get, some characters might die. And the discovery of how that's all going to work is so much a part of the story that we don't want to spoil that. All right, well, Tony E. Optimus does want to know something about a squad member. He's pleading, tell us something about Jack, anything. So what we can say about Jack and other characters from Mass Effect 2 and Mass Effect 1, a lot of people love different characters and want to see them come back. We can actually make the story of Mass Effect 3 out of these different storylines that come together. All these different characters that people have expressed a lot of love and interest in. And so they'll be back in the story, but they'll be there kind of doing their own thing, appropriate to what that character is doing and appropriate to what, what uh, the story of Mass Effect 3 will be. Well, S. Karina T. would like to know a little bit more about the story. <clears throat> Wondering, uh, can one get a perfect ending without doing any side missions? Definitely not. Because <laughs> the, uh, the reward for really understanding the story and really appreciating what's going on, making lots of good decisions, becoming powerful as a character, all of these things are, are about gameplay and about completing more and more of the story. So the reward for that, the more you do, the, the more successful you'll be in the ending as you take that final fight to the Reapers. 155 wants to know, will there be any new rooms on the Normandy and how will we be able to interact with them? In the Normandy is technically the same ship as what you saw in Mass Effect 2, but the Alliance has kind of had it for a few months, and so the Alliance has, has kind of adapted it to become their own ship, and they've made some changes, so you'll be able to kind of walk around the ship and discover what's different about it. We've kind of changed some of what you have access to in the, in the ship, and there's some different rooms in there. I think it'll be fun for players of the Mass Effect series to have fun walking around the Normandy and seeing what's new. Speaking of the ship, uh, Jason Sick wants to know, will there be any new customization for armor? Yeah, we're going to uh, kind of expand some of the things that we're doing. Uh, both on the weapons side and on the armor side. One of the big things that we're changing though is that they come with different stat bonuses for them so that as you're assembling your armor you're going to be able to kind of customize how your armor works with your gameplay. So if you're a certain kind of player and you find that you're dying in certain ways or you want to go on the offense in certain ways then you can really start finding the armor pieces that not just change the way you look but they'll also really start changing 
piece per piece what your overall stats are as a character. So moving into more combat, Broken Blinders wants to know, is it going to be mostly run and gun or will you have an option to maybe be a little stealthy? No, that's one of the things that I think is really exciting about the combat in Mass Effect 3 is because we've added a lot of features over the course of the series, and now there's a whole bunch of new things in Mass Effect 3, from new mobility, you've got grenades, we've got much better sniper rifles. So what it really allows you to do is think about how you like to play as a player, and you can actually be a lot more tactical. You can choose to use your squad a lot more. You can choose to stay at range, or there's a lot of great stuff that allows you to get up really close to the enemy. There's so many new combat features. It really allows you to kind of bring that full circle and, and choose how you want to play. So you guys recently announced multiplayer for Mass Effect 3. M. Fallhart Haffert wants to know, any chance of a Geth co-op player? Well, the cool thing about the way progression works in multiplayer is that one of the things that you'll get in your progression is what we call kits, which is kind of a combination of what you look like and what class you are and so on. And so you can actually unlock different characters that allow you to be different species, different races, and have very different kinds of movement abilities, different powers. And this is something that we're, we're going to be shipping with a, a pretty impressive array of different things that you can unlock as you're progressing. But then we're also planning on expanding that over time. So really almost anything's possible, and that's a lot of the fun of the progression, is trying to find out all the different things that you can be and play as in the multiplayer mode. So forgetting about everybody else, Spyros wants to know, will there be any more solo missions in Mass Effect 3, similar to the Arrival DLC? We're doing a bunch of different types of missions in Mass Effect 3, and we're really trying to break things up. There are times when Commander Shepard will be running around solo, and there are times when we'll have squad members and, and other major characters from the universe kind of playing along with you. We're just really trying to break up the way you expect a mission to work and, and really sort of turn that on its head and, and, and allow you to kind of think all the different possibilities of what could happen to Commander Shepard. So yeah, you'll be definitely on your own sometimes and with friends from the Mass Effect universe at other times. Well, that's all the questions we have time for today. Casey, thank you so much for sitting down with us. And back to you, Jessica. Thanks guys, and a special thanks to everyone who submitted questions. Want more insider interviews? Tweet at Bioware and tell us what you'd like to see on Bioware TV. This is your show, so let's get a conversation started. For Bioware Pulse, I'm Jessica Marizan, reminding you to keep your fingers on the pulse.